Newspaper. OK. And while you're doing that, I will finish off the washing up. Give me that. Oh, look. The Pilbury Panther's been at it again. He's stolen a hoard of Viking coins from the museum. We should follow this up. This is my kind of story. You on the trail of a desperate and notorious criminal? With my assistant. That's me. Oh, yeah. Your, your dog got a lead, does he? <laughs> you get it? Dog with a... Got a... Uh. No, I won't allow it. Ah, uh, you're worried something awful might happen to us. On the other hand... We can look after ourselves, boss. My assistant has been brushing up on his martial arts. <laughs> Could you pass me those phone books? Why, is he going to rip them in half with his bare paws? No, he needs something to stand on. Oh, yes. Very good. That should stop this vicious criminal from writing rude notes. Twenty-four hours. That's all we ask. See what we can dig up. Here. Take this metal detector. I need to do a review for Gadget Corner. You know, this might not be so bad. I thought of the perfect place to take the detector. A submarine? No. Somewhere where you might find Viking coins, just like the museum did. Viking what? Yep. To the scoop. Yeah. We're not moving. Didn't you buy a ticket? It was your turn. No, you didn't give me any pocket money. <laughs> Gov, we've been staked out here for three weeks and not a sausage. Here, have one of mine. Look, we know he stole the coins and they're buried over there. So why don't we just dig them up? and give them back to the museum. What? And miss the chance of catching the Pilbury Panther? No, no, no. Ten years he's been getting away with his thieving. Well, not anymore. He can't outwit me. Well, he has done for ten years, Gov. That's why I put this tracking device inside those coins. I knew he'd nick them sooner or later. Gov, that guy's got a metal detector. That's him, isn't it? <laughs> oh, 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 yes, D.S. Taylor. A real criminal mastermind. <laughs> We've no idea what the panther looks like, so we stay here till he digs the coins up and that trace moves, and then we nab him. All right, boss. All right. We'll soon have that panther in a cage. <laughs> 24 days I've been cooped up in this shack. Any longer than I'll start talking to myself. Marks the spot. Mwah. Now, to get those coins. These pop up tents are brilliant, hacker. I'll have this up in a jiffy. Unlikely. Oi. You just throw out the tent, up it pops. 
It's all in the wrist action, you see? Yeah. Behold! Wow. I didn't think that would work. It's all right. I've got this. I've got this. I am in control. I'll have this up in no time. <laughs> no kidding. Packer, where are you? Unbelievable. <sighs> oh. Told you. Doddle. Right, I'll just fix it down while you go on with some detecting. Hacker? You're not eating chocolate, are you? Uh, no, no. I thought we'd agree no chocolate until we get the scoop. No, no. No chocolate here. No chocolate at all. Five paces left. 45 degrees. Four paces, 90 degrees, six paces south. If I did find out you were eating chocolate behind my back, I would be one very unhappy reporter. Five paces left, three forward, turn 90 degrees, Five paces back. Prepare to dig. Oh! Oh! Oi! What do you think you're doing? Not a lot, really. Just looking for a hoard of ancient Viking coins. It's our scoop. Digby D. Digworth, and you are? Cleared off. <gasps> this is my place. Well, I'm sorry, we were digging here first. Yeah. If you don't go right now, it could turn ugly. You already have, mate. What did you say? Nothing, it was a dog! Blaming it on the dog. You're pathetic! Oye Gashima Show. Oye Gashima Show? Gashu! Oh, dog! Big old cunt! Here, Gov, have a look at this. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> Pair of donuts. Yeah. Do you want one? What? Oh. <laughs> My chocolate. Look, Hacker. Gold. It is. It is. Oh, wait till I tell Max about this scoop! Now, Digby, there's something I need to tell you. Wait a minute. Isn't there some law about finders keepers? With this gold, I'll be rich. Very, very rich. I won't need Max. I can buy my own newspaper. What? Imagine it. Me, owner and editor in chief. I can't wait to tell Max. Hey, Maxie, baby. It's me, Digby. Brace yourself, Max. I've got some bad news for you. I am leaving the Pilbury Post. And the bad news is? It's the detector, see? I've found enough dust to buy my own newspaper. <laughs> buy your own paper? I can see the headline. Digby Digworth finds 50p coin. Here, and Max, there's something I've always wanted to say to you. <laughs> hey! Digworth! Digby, the chocolate. No! I'm sorry, Cole, you have the wrong number. Goodbye. Oh. That could have been nasty, Hacker, but I think I got away with it. If Digby and his hound won't listen to me, perhaps they will heed the words of... Professor Lawrence Simmons. At your service, Mr. Digworth. <laughs> right. I am putting these coins in here, Hacker. But the man! I don't care. Oh, he's found the coins! Keep your sticky paws off until we get the scoop. Goodness gracious! It is, isn't it? I'd recognise you anywhere. Pilbury's premier reporter. Well, that's very kind of you to say so. 
Lawrence Simmons, Professor of Viking Studies. I must say, you're very brave setting up camp here. Brave? You mean you don't know about the curse of the Viking? Curse? Yes. You see, long ago, one quiet, misty morning, a Viking came to these very woods, a site steeped in ritual, and placed his soldiers in a line. Eggy soldiers? Not eggy soldiers. He was a general. A general what? A Viking general. With a chest of gold and silver. Medals? Coins. You see, he was a very rich man. Wealthy beyond dreams. But as night fell... Mm, that was quick. All his coins were stolen. And to this very day, when the mists come down, you can still hear the sound of the Viking's horn as he returns, searching for the coins, brandishing his sword. <laughs> That's why I never stay here at night. I don't like the sound of this hacker. Me neither. Let's pack up and go home. Yeah. A wise decision. <laughs> I mean, an ancient Viking in Pilbury is terrifying. It's incredible. Yeah. It's a... It's a brilliant story. What? This could be a real scoop. Uh-oh. But surely it's far too risky. Yeah, let's go. No. This is front page news, Hacker. We're staying. But you must leave the woods. If you don't leave right now, it could turn ugly. That's funny. That's what that guy said earlier. Yeah, and I said... You, you already, already have, have mate. mate. You! <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Hacker. You pulled some great moves there. That's not all I pulled. <laughs> <laughs> this will make you laugh, Gov. According to legend, the Viking who owned those coins is still in the woods, asleep, waiting for someone to find his treasure. <laughs> How cheesy is that? Very cheesy, dear sailor. Very cheesy indeed. Treasure! Not more chocolate coins? No. Gold! There the Viking will remain until he hears the clinking of his coins. Only then will he awaken and pounce on the thief. We've done it! Yeah! we found the Viking fortune! Yeah! yeah. Now, to call Max and tell him that the story is... Wait a minute. I'm the story. Number one reporter saves the day. <gasps> oh, fudges. Not you again. Hide the gold. Can't you go away and leave us alone? Yes, we know all about your silly legend and we weren't frightened the last time things turned ugly. Yeah, so clear off with yourself. Oh, it's time for on guy Mashoo! Yes, the disguise is better. But look at this beard, eh? Eh? Look, obviously false. <laughs> it's not coming off. Oh! I'm warning you! I am a dab hand with a baguette. Hacker, <laughs> go to the car and get the really useful box with absolutely everything in it! <laughs> this will stop the rabid mutt. Nobody's home. Now for those coins.
So, this is where the so-called professor was hanging out. Oh. Dear diary, got up late, went to the Pilbury Museum, stole the Viking coins. <laughs> so he's the Pilbury Panther! Who'd have guessed it? What a scoop! I've got to tell Max. And the police, obviously. <clears throat> <laughs> Go to sleep, go to sleep, my dear Viking. Go to sleep, go to sleep, so that we can run away. Digby! Digby! Ah! <gasps> Gov, I think it's time for a clear out. Why'd you say that? Oh, oh sorry about that, sir. Hang on a minute, I... Right, Gov! Gov! Hand <sighs> over! Get off! They're mine! No! Well, we'll see what Chief Inspector Grunt has to say about that. <laughs> All right, Gov. OK, OK, calm it down. Come here, let's have a look. What do you think, Gov? What have we got here? Hmm. Chocolate. 75% cocoa solids, my friend. Chocolate? Yes. Chocolate. I do apologise for my colleague, sir. Gov, I think he's the panther. Panther? I've not seen any panther. Just a uh, couple of baboons in a car. No, 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 sir. He's referring to the Pilbury panther, the notorious criminal. Ah, uh, you mean the one that's been making a fool of the police these past few years? It's ten, to be precise. Yeah, all right, Taylor, thank you. Why do you think he'll be hiding in the woods? <clears throat> well, uh, between you and me, we've hidden a tracking device inside the coins he stole and we're waiting here for him to come back and get them. We're not stupid, you know. No. Tracking device, you say? Yes, that's right. So, uh, sorry to trouble you, sir. On your way. No bother at all. I promise. <laughs> nice chap. <laughs> oh, Taylor, the panther. Oh, I've got the panther. <laughs> you crack me up. Wait till the fellas in the station hear about this one. Oh, I've caught him, Gov. <laughs> oh, Taylor, Taylor, Taylor. OK, Hagger, let's gather the evidence. One plan of the museum. Check. One diary. Check. Two bananas. Check. Where's the other one? What? Hacker, this is all valuable evidence. Sorry. There's enough here for the police to nail the Pilbury Panther once and for all. Is it nice? Yeah. yeah. I could do with a quick snack myself. Nothing like being chased by a desperate Viking to work up an appetite. You've always got an appetite. Oi. I suppose it'd only go off anyway. Yeah. So, uh, well, I'll just have this and then we'll get the real coins from under my cagoule, eh? <laughs> OK, Digworth. You have the chocolates, and I'll have the treasure. <laughs> now, where's that tracking device? Thank you, DCI Grunt. Now for some fun. <laughs> Gov, I've just seen something very weird. Me too. There's no nuts on this ice cream. No, the trace. I'm sure it just moved. No. Still there. Taylor, are you taking the Michael? No. Ten years I've been in the service and no one has ever interrupted me when I'm about to chow down on an icy cream. I thought it moved. I thought I'd tell you. You're in trouble, son. I'm putting you on report. <laughs> Gov, it definitely moved then. Hey, up. We're on. Maybe I speed pursuit Taylor, but safety first. Absolutely, Gov. Let's get him. Send 
You wanted a quick snack, Digworth? <laughs> That banana's giving me terrible indigestion. Oh, me too. Duff, I don't mean to worry you, but we're being trailed by a pop-up tent. <laughs> Did you hear something, Hacker? I think so. Here, Gov. Do you want me to book them for loitering with intent? <laughs> <laughs> loitering with intent? Isn't that funny, Hacker? No. Except for the Pilbury Pump for getting away. And, wait until you see this. Priceless Viking coins delivered to you by none other than Digby D. Digworth. W what? What is it? <laughs> You're coming with us, son, for wasting police time. Taylor, come on. Another award-winning front cover, no doubt. <laughs> Digby copped in shot, chop, coin swap. Digby, Digworth! 